Meta, bro. Yo, uh, Valentine pinged me yesterday. Silian was doing the PvP event on the Taiwan server. I haven't actually watched the video, because as you might be able to hear in the background, I was playing another game. So we're gonna check this out, but... I'm gonna adjust the screen as well. We had the whole Discord up in here watching this. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. There's Homa. There's a card underneath the fire pits. What's going on? Dang. <laughs> Who got frozen too? Damn. The bird's the word. So eventually, I think it was during the next PvP contest, I muted the sound from my other game. I was playing with a bunch of friends. We play uh, Necessi. Little survival game. It's pretty fun. But I think we get two and a half matches. This is going to be the half. See the AoE effects going crazy here. Deleon really controlling that battlefield too. Got a really effective barricade there. Good choke. You even got Seppi on a barrel. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> wow. Guzman! He's back. Hit the barrel. Oh. Come on, Guzman. And beat up by birds. Wow. That bird support thing's strong. <laughs> I love that creep. Eat him. I see a wild Xavier out. Damn, this guy's full meta. Xavier, Guzman. Meta, bro. Bringing Gloria to her knees. But unfortunately, you can't kill her. Nice win. Still land with the dramatic hair profile pick. <laughs> I love that graphic for that. That's cute. Yeah, there's been a lot of questions about PvP. Um, a lot of us want the rewards to be greater and PvP to be a little bit more... It, not that it's not engaging. I think it is engaging actual PvP and setting up and getting the points and everything, but we want it to mean a little bit more. And I'm hoping that the devs will notice and maybe they'll bump up the rewards a bit and for either defense or for you know, matching PvP. For those who don't know, Captain Cow, don't you dare ever speak out of character around Captain Cow. Actually, no, it's not out of character. What? Um, in topic. There you go. Anyways, he's hosting a PvP tournament. Going to be in the first couple days of the game. So I usually have the details on my video. Click the link. Come on in. Talk to him about it. He'll hook you up. I think they got three participants so far. I don't know what the rewards are going to be. You'll have to clarify all that with him. So this is the band pick mode. From what I gather, Celion was telling me that they just ban all of the DPS on the other team, which you can kind of see. <laughs> so that's why you end up with teams like Xavier and Guzman. <laughs> so I guess you really got to spam pick your DPS early. And then hopefully your supports are there late. Get a tank in there. Harris with Anana, Safia. I forget that other character's name with the axe. Princess Guard. I don't see who's in the back there. Is that Tyre? Not someone else. Oh, I think that's that Ice Caster. I forget his name. Jeez. 
It's gonna pop off. So you can see this particular battlefield is pretty hazardous, huh? Most of the time I see teams send like a coal or someone up top there. And they just start tripping all the traps. The boulders. They eventually bring them down and start shooting wine barrels or whatever. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, that's not him. I think he's an ice caster. Maybe I'm getting mixed up with Karis, though. Oh, whatever. I can look it up. I think that is Tyre. Okay. It's weird because I thought Tyre had like a little walking can. Yep, that's him. Okay. I hear has. Blue and purple, so support and a debuffer. From what I remember, I think Tyre is the one that can do damage share. Pretty strong in PvE. Also, amazing hair. <laughs> Boy. Xavier is back. <laughs> oh, Strife has joined the chat. The ballista in the background there. Okay. There's Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker would be risky to bring in here. So Xavier, technically. Anyone with that one square radius around them. You gotta be real careful where you're moving at around here. Doesn't look like it's going super well for him either. Inanna, she's a princess. She can't even be bothered to come to the front. Got that pirate creep or whatever it is. Dark light. Ooh, another Karis. That means our AoE is going to go off for it. Yep. Boom. Wow. Jeez, dude. Where is Karis on the tier list? Let's see. According to the Celion tier list, I don't see her. Where is she? Well, maybe this is just. Oh, there she is. Tier 1.5. Basically, middle tier. I don't know. I think she deserves a tier one. Just saying. Dang, dude. That was surgical. You flexing. Look at our rewards. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of curious to see that. Let me go back. Oh, God. Hard to read that, but I'm guessing it's at least 20 per Hope Lux site. Hope! Holy. <laughs> Load screen's pretty, or uh, the queue's pretty quick. 
this event apparently only happens a couple hours a night. So when it's up, you gotta really be on and do it. I'll probably be doing the same thing. Hopefully I'll get really good at messing with the background. Cause I don't know, like look at let's pause here. So look at imagine you were fighting Celion, right? Look at Celion's roster. You got Aruiwa, Gloria. Uh that's a skin of Barrel, Hole. Guste, Coco, that's Toma, or Homa, that Fia, Anna, for the desert version looking tire guy, Ida, Magnus, I think his name is, Magnus, these two G's, I don't even know them offhand, maybe they're newer, or probably one's Karis. I don't remember who the other one's gonna be, but jeez, dude, like, who do you ban on that roster? They're all good. Mary God, looks like Abe or we Waria. Seeing that right? Who do you ban? Rolling with a roster like that, fifteen people. So if you're really gonna be into PvP in this game, you got to get a squad of fifteen deep that you can synergize with. No matter who gets banned. There goes Glory and Aira Wiya. Goes Barrel. Locking in Coco. Coco and Auguste, man. You get an Ana in there, that's over. Comes Homa. Homa and Auguste are apparently the dream team. You saw it in one of my last videos. They soloed one entire side. It was about half the mobs of the other side, but still two people versus like... I think it was four people on the other side. Man. <laughs> that was crazy. And they cleared it too, so they couldn't spawn anymore on that side. We got here Ballista... Is that Lash? Lash gonna make an appearance? Oh, dang. Finally, I will have my vengeance on Sileon for putting me in the second tier of epic units. <laughs> That's a formidable crew. That taunt. Maybe the other person's having disconnect issues. Let's get forward. Looks like it gives you 30 seconds a turn. Coco! Yee, <laughs> daddle. <laughs> I was going to kick out a rogue minecart. <laughs> Like this is Donkey Kong Country or something. Funny. Resident Evil 4 had like a crazy minecart too. That's another one in my top 10 in case you're wondering. I love that game. Great execution. Good boy. Salt and pepper, here they go. That's what I call them. Homa's Pepper, Auguste Salt. Oh, damn. Crazy charge.
Flash, no. That person's on auto now. <laughs> it just gave up already. <laughs> Do a Coco. Oh wow, she can spam that twice, huh? More buffs. I heard a strategy that was pretty good is just uh, spamming buffs. I know that sounds like duh, but there's a lot of like passive things in this game that they'll either convert a debuff into a buff. When you cast a group skill, it also adds one or two buffs. There's stuff like that, and that book actually adds a buff along with move one. And there's something like, I think it's like a 12-ish or so. The range of buffs that it can add. So pretty much, you can get like, say, six buffs on somebody, you're covering half the spectrum. That's a much deadlier unit, but you're not really thinking about it. You're thinking about, you know, when you're gearing your characters. Oh, I need damage. Oh, I need this effect. And maybe you do, but hey, being buffed at the same time doesn't hurt. Even if it's mitigation, you know. Coco's coming for you, Mytha. I didn't realize that Tyre had that mobility. That's scary now. That Agatha. Oh, it's Tyre. Can't mistake that bowl cut. Come on, Lash. Come on, Lash. I pumped you too hard. You can't die. Uh... I blame on the guy autoing. Here we go. Do you know who I am? I'm Goose Dead. Uh, knocked him out of his uh, focus. Or charge, I guess. We got a rage quit? I have a rage quit. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, we got six minutes to go, so this is either a real quick match. I just let it record too long. Yeah, I guess it's Boo. Make sure the weapon banner pull. What's going on? Maybe we'll get some insight. Damn, look at those rainbows. Wow. Wow. Free to play? Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. I love those little bracers. Those are going to be so good. And, uh, Power. Those take off 15% uh, of health HP, so you get that on somebody. Run them up to one of those bosses with like eight, eight, 800,000 health or whatever ridiculous number. Thank you, 1.2. By the way, y'all, we down to eight. Eight days. Eight. 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 Three million total gold, five million dust. Jeez. I guess eventually this won't be a problem if free to play has all this. 
270 hope luck sites though what happened are you gonna get the next banner silly <laughs> This is an account that's apparently around eight months old, so nice to see that there's a good acclimation of uh, gear here. I gotta ask one time if there's a. Uh... Yeah, these chests are super helpful. If there's a uh, like a rainbow weapon or trinket that's completely garbage that we can actually sell it, so we can just roll a rig uh, le legendary weapon or trinket in the shop. But you know how it is. Like that'll happen, and then the the devs will buff the item, and you'll be like, "No, <laughs> it's top tier now." Look at this cat. I forget what store that was, but it's like the metal store or something. Like little achievements that you get in the game. Eh, I want this back so bad. A lot of those. Look at those. <laughs> Humble brag over here. Wow, you got two fully maxed out cubes. That's cool. Oh, this must be engraving. So it's adding different stats to it? Okay. That's cool. I didn't know that. You can just like re-roll it, I guess. So it hits near perfect. Isn't that that thing that happens in, uh, what was that game? Oh, uh, I forget. The one where the company rips you off. Like the side-scrolling gotcha from way back in the early 2000s. Maple Story. I think they had, like, a little reroll system, too. Leon is not amused. I wonder what they are going for on these stats. Probably. Looks like a physical weapon. So they probably want physical damage with maybe. Health's never a bad thing. Not sure what else she'd want. Maybe physical defense. Magical defense. Magical power. And health. Physical power, health. Oh, that's pretty good. You get both. I guess she didn't like it, but... If you have a hybrid character, that would have been nice. There's a couple things in the game that are affected based off of your... Both physical and magical attack. It'll give you like shields or something all right it looks like that's it so that was my first time watching through that was actually pretty cool especially uh geez you're cleaning up the the pvp really quickly there that's pretty fat anyways just a little bonus video for you all there wasn't anything in particular i wanted to show you just we have content we're all ravenous we're all hungry so let's devour it <laughs> that's how it goes here but Hope the night finds you well. We got eight, eight, eight more days. I'm talking with uh, another streamer. I'm not sure how comfortable they are with me. So if something happens great. Something doesn't happen great. Otherwise, uh, we'll continue putting out stuff. I'm going to have a couple more theme shows and I'm starting to work on 
um live stream stuff so i'm gonna need a little overlay uh and just ideas for future videos because content is very different once the game is actually out we can share a lot of what we're going through what's going on we can do fun little like whatever pull battles pvp what have you but you know, I'm looking to adapt and see, okay, what is the stuff that people is going to want? Uh, you guys actually reacted a lot better to my philosophical video than I thought you would. Philosophical inputs. But, you know, like my creator philosophy and discussing old games like Final Fantasy Tactics. That was really fun. So I'll be looking to do a little bit more stuff like that. Not all the time, but I'll probably Easter egg it and then put it out there once, once a week, once every other week, whatever it ends up being. But all right, so, yo, I'm Showtime Doctor. You found my YouTube. <gasps> Hit like and subscribe for the content. I'll catch you guys again. It's been fun.